I had a very healthy pregnancy. Everything was going well, and then, um, and then it wasn't. So I wasn't feeling very well, and I went into the hospital to be just checked, and the nurse let me know that I was in labor, in active labor. At, at the time, I was 28 weeks. When the OB came to visit us, just at that same moment, her heart rate uh, disappeared, and I was rushed for an emergency cesarean under general anesthetic. So we spent two months in the NICU, and it was a roller coaster of emotions. There was lots of tubes and wire. She had a heart monitor, an oxygen monitor. She had an IV. Being separated was really difficult. Um, but it became our new normal. We would get up every morning and be with our daughter, sit next to her, isolate, talk to her, learn about her night, how she did. The nurses at BC Women's introduced us to the term skin-to-skin -skin care or kangaroo mother care, which just means placing your baby with uh, no clothing, either the baby and yourself being bare-chested. And uh, it meant everything to us. Skin-to-skin -skin care meant everything to us as a family. We would be allowed to do feeds with her, which was really lovely, and just hold her for hours at a time. It connected myself with being a mom. It was my first moments of motherhood and feeling like I was helping my daughter. So Olive was doing very well in the NICU and we were excited because it meant that we could go to a smaller hospital closer to our home. But we were surprised because Immediately the nurse said that Olive needed to settle and that it wasn't a great idea to do skin to skin, which was very confusing for us because we had just been told sort of the opposite at the other hospital. I remember going home and crying and not knowing what our next step should be and what we should be doing. I went to the NICU the next morning and asked to hold her and they let me hold her. We just started asking all the time. <laughs> And the nurses started agreeing more times than not because they saw that her stats and her oxygen and her, her heart and everything was doing better when she was on me and that they actually did worse when we left for the night. I think the best way to support families in their education for skin to skin is, is educating the nurses and the care providers around them on the benefits as well as encouraging the parents to do it and being there. The information is coming into the hospitals, and I think that's really exciting. I continued skin-to-skin -skin care with Olive when we came home. I bought a fabric wrap, and we were skin-to-skin -skin all the time. My advice to other parents for skin-to-skin -skin is to ask questions, talk to your nurses. Uh, if you're fearful, Ask your nurses for support, your partner for support, um, and enjoy the skin to skin and all of the benefits that it can that it can have for both you and your baby. It can change your entire parenthood journey, and I find it's that important that I'm happy to to advocate for other parents as well as for our family.